Hey guys, Jessica again. So I've been a nurse for two and a half whole months. Woohoo! And there's definitely a couple tips I wanted to share with you today, mostly about Foley catheter. So when I was in nursing school, I had an awesome instructor who told me, if you hit the wrong spot, leave the catheter there. And I'm not kidding. That one tip has saved me more times than I can count. So when you're doing a Foley catheter on a female, especially if they're older, the muscles are a little bit weaker and it's sometimes really hard to see if you're hitting the right spot or not. So one tip you could do is kind of tilt the head back of the bed. So kind of that lowers their head back. If you can do like a Trendelenburg, that'll kind of move some of the tissue by gravity away so you can see better. Um, have someone there to help you like with a flashlight just in case so to show if you need to look. Have them um, kind of like, um, I don't know, you, you want to look for a wink, but basically you have them just kind of like bear down. That should open things up a little bit. For females, if your first try, your second try, whatever, you go in, you don't get urine return, and you realize you're in the vagina, leave the catheter there, okay? Now you know not to go there again, and you're high, it's highly unlikely that you would go there again if it's in place. So leave the catheter there, get a new sterile catheter, keep sterility with the procedure, and then you're going to insert just above where that catheter is, and more than likely you're going to hit the urethra. Um, you should get your in return and you should be set. And then all you have to do is get rid of the catheter that's in the vagina and you're good to go. For the men, especially a lot of the older men, they usually have enlarged prostate, so it's a little bit harder sometimes to get a catheter in. Um, I definitely recommend raising the penis up like 90 degrees like straight up when you first start inserting. And then as you continue to insert, sort of lower it, and that kind of helps you get past the prostate. Um, nothing's fun when you're doing the Foley catheters. It's usually not very comfortable for the person. So if they're confused and you're worried about them grabbing it, maybe have someone hold their hands or have someone cover with a blanket their hands and just say we're going to keep you warm and that way you can just get it done really quick. Um, as a nursing student I had some rough Foley catheter uh, insertions um, and just as a nurse I don't know like my first month probably I had two or three attempts to get a catheter in because I was hitting the wrong spot. But I listened to my instructor and I left it in place and it made a big difference. So hope this helps you. Hang in there. You can do it. Once you get a few in, you're as good as gold. So talk to you later.